You know, there really is no end to how nice you can make Skyrim look in 2019. The modding community is just as strong as ever and it's so impressive to witness, especially with it being over 7 years of modding. All it takes is one single mod to make the game look significantly better than it did before. It could be a city mod, a grass mod, a weather's mod, a companion mod, a texture mod. So many different ways to improve your game. But in this specific video, we are going to make the capital of Skyrim actually look like the capital of Skyrim. And you have all been there before. The glorious city of solitude, the fortress on stone. The city where doing your job as a gate opener will get you beheaded, you know? That really cool city that obviously treats its citizens like they should be treated. But myself and my eek felt it necessary to improve upon it with the first chance we got. And that is going to be achieved by one of my new favorite mods of this year. And when I'm not in the city, I need my grass to look like grass. So maybe I will throw in one or two small ones. But there's a new hardest decision on its way. Should be here at some point, eventually. And it's a good one. I can tell you all that at least, hi. So sit back, chill out, turn on Skyrim, turn off Skyrim. Just involve Skyrim in some way, you filthy N was. And let's all delve right into this spectacular video where we drone on about some mods. So it's 2019 and it's taken me over 20 days to upload a new video. I feel my video game craze is falling off and it's about time we fix that. But I don't know if any of you relate much to it in terms of any form of creativity. Do you ever just hit a mental wall which you try and climb over but you just can't? That's kind of what I hit and my cravings for creating new content just weren't there. But I think I'm starting to crack the wall down a bit which is good. I always thought my chiseling was fine. So the first the first mod we are going to be looking at today is the Great City of Solitude, uploaded by user Soldier of War, a mod that I've been using for my own Skyrim Special Edition playthrough on my PC. And what a wonderful mod it is! The simple slogan on a mod page says it all in just a few words. Make Solitude the capital city it was meant to be. And boy, just by looking at some of these shots, already you guys can see exactly how it does it, and you see what I mean. For me, Solitude has always been the one city which somewhat feels like an actual city within Skyrim, because Morthal certainly isn't. That place is barely a village for Pete's sakes. Now since the inside of Solitude already feels like a bit of a city, this mod aims to simply extend the reach of the city and vastly improve upon the Solitude port whilst keeping it very lore friendly. You will find a vast amount of new buildings and shops surrounding both sides of the Karth River. The arch underneath Solitude has even been reshaped to look like something more natural. Alongside these shops brings new vendors for you to to sell your treasures and junk to, and next to all these shops are new homes for NPCs and new warehouses to suit the trading post underneath Solitude. The moment you use this mod you will never not be able to again, because the moment I turned it off and walked around the outside of Solitude, it just felt so empty and barren, something no adventurer likes to feel near a city. So do yourself a favour and throw this mod into your game to get the best possible experience when visiting the capital of Skyrim, because let's be real here guys and gals, Solitude on its own, it's still pretty So it's been a long time since I found myself installing any type of new weather mod outside of Climates of Tamriel, but that's mostly due to no mod being nearly as good as Climates of Tamriel. But I seen a grass mod I wanted. The grass mod required this mod, which I got, but to my surprisal it was incredible how much of an impact it made on the surrounding terrains and skies when I was out adventuring and I feel it necessary to show you guys too. The mod is tiny and this is impressive for what it manages to achieve. But I'll give you some of the things it changes in your game while showing you luscious backgrounds for your beautiful eyes to enjoy. There are 90 weathers for you to enjoy. The skies of Skyrim will change all sorts of colours and the seasonal weathers will feel much more like the season it's in. Weather will feel cold and spring will feel fresh upon your Nordic skin. Unless you're playing an Argonian, why are you doing that? Distant fogs have been added to mountains to amplify the depth through the player's eyes. Basically, it makes Skyrim look mega effing cool. The emphasis on seasons feeling like like seasons is in this mod. Some regions will have unique climates to suit that region allowing the player to be somewhat excited to discover new weathers and added taste to an already outstanding looking mod. As the mod page logo goes, sharp, ominous and atmospheric. 
Obsidian weathers and seasons accentuates proximal detail while obscuring distant landscapes and mysterious rolling fogs and atmospheric scattering. Obsidian is a collaborative work, a hybridization of artistic styles that glorifies Skyrim for her beauty while preserving her dated modesty. That was a lot of big words. I don't think I could have put it better myself though, even if my cooked me up one of his fresh meals and said hot dog Ronald. I hope he never does that though. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the minds behind this mod seem to have a simple goal which they accomplished very well. The mod is called Obsidian Weather and Seasons, uploaded by mod author Dr. Mega Arundel, according to the Nexus page, and you can find it on the Skyrim Nexus. Download links in the description below for any of you interested. Go and do it. Mod your game. I believe in you. Now I have to say, on this list alone, my personal favorite mod would have to be this small mod I'm about to show you. The Lightweight Grass Overhaul Landscapes Terrain LOD and Cathedral Concept. What a mouthful. This mod is extremely simple for what it delivers. And that, my friends, is good looking grass in a game with terrible looking grass. And boy, just look at some of these shots. It almost makes you want to do something big, right? Like go to High Rockar, punch a greybeard, and find your self falling down a mountain plummeting to your death? Why didn't you stop the mic? As the mod states it's a comprehensive visual overhaul for Skyrim consisting of mostly retextures and improved models. But again quite simply put it makes your grass look like the color green on steroids. This mod was created by the community and can be found on the Skyrim Nexus for your own personal use. I highly recommend it. It might just be grass but it comes with a little bit of sass. <laughs> Dab to stab am I right peeps? Have you ever wanted to yield a power so mighty it makes my e cower on the ground like the filthy degenerate he really is? Have you ever wanted to look like your spirit animal, aka a bear, chicken, fox, frog, goat, milk, cow, panda, pig, rabbit, or a tiger? Well then, Animal Pajama is for you. I'm not developed and uploaded by Keong, if I didn't mispronounce it like the swine I am. It lets you be and do the one simple task you have all wanted to do in Skyrim. And that, my friends, is wear animal onesies around the cold, harsh lands of Skyrim. Just look at what it allows you to do in this game. Ignoring the fact that the pictures on the actual mod site have women in them. I can wear them too. So can my eek. We look good, don't we? You can still do everything, but even better with this mod. Find a bandit? Easy. Cook a meal? Easy. Punch my eek? Easy. Shout? Easy. Punch Braith? Easy. Jump off a bridge? Easy. Punch Braith? Easy. Punch Braith again? Easy. Do you ever do something so horrible and shameful that you just want to delete your entire existence with the push of a button? Oh yeah, we were talking about the mod. Yeah, so basically you can look like an animal. Uh, you can, if, if you're a Khajiit, where you're already an animal, so you can be an animal's animal. Am I right? Anyways, guys, that's it for today's mods. I'm trying to get my creative flair going again, so if it sometimes gets weird, just know I'm trying to motivate myself as I edit and record things to be semi-different or somewhat unique or in a normal scenario, be me. But as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to let me know in the comments below what you all thought about this video. If you liked it, leave a like, and if you disliked it, leave a dislike. Your support is always welcome in whatever way shape or form you feel and deem is necessary. Share the video, leave some comments, I'm always open to suggestions. If you have a mod you really want me to look at, I'll look at the highest voted ones and pick some out of that. Something new for this channel anyway, because mod videos in Skyrim are unique, right? Remember when Gopher did the Skyrim Mod Sanctuary back in 2014 and 2015? And it was such a glorious time to exist when Bro Jewel uploaded once a week and not once every six months? Ah. Those were the days. Anyways, peeps, jokes aside, I really do hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see all of your beautiful people. Y you beautiful. Did I just say your? I used your. your I I'll see you guys next time.